It is a dessert, so there's going to be butter and sugar in there, and we're all just going to have to take a deep breath and get over it. Welcome back to another episode of The Scrand Line. I'm Nick, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really delicious, really easy to make cookies and cream trifle. Now, my cookies and cream trifle has different layers. It's got chocolate brownies in there with cookies and, well, Oreos mixed in the brownies. I'm gonna show you how to make that. And then there's cream and there's chocolate cheesecake and there's just like a whole lot of deliciousness happening. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to make and then like put it all together. Before we get stuck into today's recipe, make sure you're subscribed to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. It's free. Hit the like button because YouTube doesn't actually spread this video around to the people who are subscribed to this channel unless you hit the like button. And if you do hit the like button and you're watching it already, then everyone else can know about this video as well. It sounds silly, but YouTube is a little bit silly. Anyway, I appreciate you guys being here and watching this, so let's get stuck into the recipe. The first thing we're gonna do is make the brownies. So, really, really easy. My brownie recipe, by the way, is really, really fudgy and dense. It's not a cakey uh, brownie. So we're gonna begin by adding some dark chocolate into a large microwave safe bowl and we're gonna add some butter and sugar in there. Now you're gonna be watching this and you're gonna be like, whoa, there's a lot of those ingredients in there. It is a dessert, so there's gonna be butter and sugar in there and we're all just gonna to have to take a deep breath and get over it. So we're gonna microwave this for 20 seconds at a time and then you wanna mix it each time you do that until it's nice and smooth. Next, we're gonna add our eggs now, a quick note, there are a lot of eggs in this recipe. If you like, you can actually halve this recipe and just have flatter brownies in the trifle. It's completely fine. Um, you'll just halve all of the ingredients in the brownie recipe. Once you've got those eggs whisked into your chocolate mixture, you're actually gonna notice that the texture of this changes a little bit. It kind of goes really smooth and glossy, and I just love this stage so much. So the next ingredients are the flour and cocoa powder. So you want to mix those in and when you can see no dry ingredients showing, it's time to stop mixing. We're not gonna be mixing this using a stand mixer or a hand mixer. We definitely, if we're gonna be using those, don't wanna mix on high speed because we don't wanna aerate this mixture. Like I said, my recipe is really fudgy and that's the way I like it. Once you've got everything mixed in properly, we're gonna add some chopped Oreos in there. Optional, but it is a cookies and cream trifle. And we're gonna fold that in using a spatula and then we're gonna transfer this to a nine by nine inch square tin, which I've lined and sprayed with oil and baking paper. And if you wanna learn how to do that, how to prepare your baking tins, I've actually made a video on how to prepare lots of different types of baking tins and baking trays with baking paper so they can get perfect cake and cupcake results every time. So we're gonna pour that in there, we're gonna bake this. Once it's baked, let it cool completely and chill it in the fridge for a couple hours. So it's really nice and stiff so that when you're cutting it into your squares, it's much easier to cut. One of the layers in this cookies and cream trifle is the chocolate ganache and making chocolate ganache is really easy. I don't even use a stove top, I just do this in the microwave. So I add my chocolate and cream into a large microwave safe bowl, microwave it 20 seconds at a time, stirring each time until it's nice and smooth and then set it aside to cool down a little bit. You want it at room temperature where it's still like at a pourable stage, it's not completely stiff but you don't want it to be too warm, otherwise it'll make everything in your trifle melt um, and you don't want that to happen. So I would recommend this being the last thing that you make before you put your trifle together. Let it cool to room temperature, like I said, before you put it in the trifle. Another layer in this trifle is the cheesecake mixture. So to make that, add your room temperature softened cream cheese into a large mixing bowl, along with some powdered sugar and vanilla extract. 
We're gonna mix this on low speed to begin with, and then when you can see the powdered sugar is pretty much mixed into everything, we'll whip it up to medium high speed until everything is nice and fluffy and smooth. Next, you're gonna add some cream, mix that in, and then finally add some finely crushed Oreos, and mix that until everything is really well combined. The final layer of this trifle is gonna be our whipped cream. I don't add sugar to my whipped cream. I just add the cream in there and a good amount of vanilla extract and whip it using a hand mixer until I reach stiff peaks. Now that we've got everything ready, we're gonna put this trifle together. What's really great about this trifle is that if you make this the day before you serve it, all of those ingredients and all of those layers in the trifle have really gotten to know each other overnight and they've had a party and they've just become really best buds. And I'm specifically talking about the cream and the Oreos. The Oreos go really soft because of the moisture in the cream and it's just magical. It's a magical friendship. Okay, let's put this thing together. We're gonna to begin by adding some brownies at the bottom of our trifle bowl. Then we're gonna add some cookies and cream cheesecake on top of that, spread it around. Add some chopped Oreos there and some cooled room temperature chocolate ganache. A layer of cream and some minced meat sauteed with onions and salt. Some more chopped Oreos on top of that with some brownies and then some more cheesecake mixture, more chocolate sauce, more cream. And we are going to fit the end of a piping bag with an open star tip. And we're gonna frost some swirls of cream on top Finish it with some Oreos on top of the cream swirls, and then just a cheeky sprinkle of rainbow sprinkles on top. And guys, that is my cookies and cream trifle. This thing is so delicious. I, I know that trifles are a bit like old school and kind of retro, but they're kind of making a comeback. And every time I make these, you guys love them and I love them. So I thought that this would be a delicious recipe to show you. If you want to try making this for yourself, the link for the recipe is going to be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love and appreciate you guys. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scram Line.